think one popular question is why are our like outreach images and everything all the onboard rocket image uh, onboard satellite image even the one that aditya clicked of the earth it's very bad why are our images like so bad like it feels like it's like 10 colors and within 10 colors it's mixing and making an image no i don't know whether you call it bad or good it's it's bad from that set of onwards you know that is up to you to uh, say that i don't know who else is producing images of that nature from what aditya has produced to compare you said that one sun, is good or one is bad what the sun image yeah aditya's earth image what it took while departing earth that's so okay that's covers. not its purpose see the purpose of aditya hmm. is not to take earth image its purpose yes. of aditya is to take image of the sun yes, for yes. which it is good Correct. so so let us compare what the purpose of it but it may also do some other pr functional images which is not our our scientific goal i think that you don't have to worry about it when uh, on on the way when you take some images how do you say it is good or bad I so uh, that is not the purpose and we are not really pr yeah. good people of course yeah. our job is not to entertain our mm-hmm. job is to satisfy the scientific curiosity but is from what i have understood those images are bad because uh they are from a scl simo sensor which has been like used for almost a decade plus i think as of now but you have flown better sensors on your own mission uh, i think few years back uh, you already flown the sac imaging system sic and that was like 1080p 60 frames per second proper high definition image uh, while deploying the satellite so it's not like you don't have good hardware Just don't don't choose think, to use good. Yeah, yeah. See that all talk. You know, let us discuss about the purpose for which when a detector is selected. Mm. The select detector is selected for a scientific purpose. Yes. And when a high definition sensor, of course, you can put. Mm. There is no issue. Mm. Uh, there are available commercially also. You can put uh, even if you get a normal, you know, Sony camera or CCD, mm. it will do the function much better than many of these sensors. Mm. But issue with them are its space quali- quality. Quality. Mm. so you can put only sensors which will withstand that type of spectral capability yeah. as well as space capability mm-hmm. so those co- spec- that will not be commercially as good as it because there mm-hmm. there, there are all different class of sensors see you are the processing of what you do in a typical mobile camera and the processing of the images that you do in space are entirely different right uh, so that that's why the heritage systems are more used than the modern system Mm. except for the reasons which are short duration for example if you have to work it for years together mm. those detectors will be of different class not the one which will work in the commercial camera with high definition they are different it doesn't mean that we don't know mm. that high definition <laughs> camera system we know how to do that <laughs> i've seen uh, I, i think uh, vssc had a website for uh, nglv work items uh, yeah. in that nglv from ground day one will be 1080p uh, 60 fps video system at least from what i could read there It's okay. That's a goal. Ah, okay, that's okay. a goal. And you should understand, launch vehicle cameras are very short duration camera. It mm. starts. It sub- works for fifteen minutes, mm. and after that, it is gone. Right. So it is more affordable to put a commercial detector of mm. high quality mm-hmm. on a launch vehicle than putting on a satellite. Right. See, satellite you cannot put that type of sensors. None of the Sony camera sensors you will put in satellite. Right. If you do that, it will not survive the mm-hmm. the the radiation environment and the type of spectral quality life. of all those things matters right so they are of different class their detector costs are uh, prohibitive not like the mm. one you use it for typical standard cameras and uh, for high definition but we can expect right sometime in the future this will get better the outreach cameras will get better see we should also understand where is this detector is produced you said about the scl, SCL. Mm. you know scl is a 180 nanometer type of foundry so yes. it has its own limitations correct and uh, the when the electronic manufacturing capability in this country improves mm. uh, we are also discussed we usually you heard that prime minister mm. spoke about bringing scientific um, electronics manufacturing capability to india okay. and this is some area we should work on to create that type of capability producing detectors for example scientific detectors itself is a different area it doesn't have commercial utility but it has huge scientific utility so there are small fabs they called mm. micro mini fabs mm-hmm. which will work on this of uh, various detectors are qualification even jpl they have mm. they make the detector themselves oh. not the companies which you uh-huh. you see outside they uh-huh. do specific r&d to make those detectors for all scientific detectors so this is one domain we should work on yeah. scl capability is not enough today mm. that is there yeah